subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, Google Cloud Certified, Professional Cloud Developer. The GCP Cloud Developer Exam is a professional certificate. These certifications are advocated for candidates with industry experience, and familiarity with Google Cloud products, and solutions. A professional cloud developer is an individual, who develops scalable, and highly available applications with the help of Google recommended practices, and tools. Now, we will discuss about, basic exam details. GCP Cloud Developer Exam is, 2 hours long exam. The candidate will encounter various questions such as, multiple choice, and multiple select. The registration fee for the same is, 200 US dollars. However, the exam is only available in English, and Japanese language. And, the examination is only valid for two years. Course Outline, GCP Cloud Developer Exam First, designing highly scalable, available, and reliable cloud-native applications. Second, building, and testing applications. Third, deploying applications. Fourth, integrating Google Cloud Platform Services. Fifth, managing application performance monitoring. Let us now discuss course outline topics in detail. Domain 1, designing highly scalable, available, and reliable cloud native applications. It contains four subtopics which are, first, designing performant applications and APIs. Second, designing secure applications. Third, managing application data. Fourth, re-architecting applications from local services to Google Cloud Platform. Domain 2, Building, and Testing Applications. It contains four subtopics which are First, setting up your development environment. Second, building a continuous integration pipeline. Third, testing. Fourth, writing code. Domain 3, Deploying Applications. It contains nine subtopics which are First, implementing appropriate deployment strategies based on the target compute environment. Second, deploying applications and services on compute engine. Third, deploying applications and services on Google Kubernetes engine. Fourth, deploying an application to app engine. Fifth, deploying a cloud function. Sixth, creating data storage resources. Seventh, deploying and implementing networking resources. Eighth, automating resource provisioning with deployment manager. Ninth, managing service accounts. Domain 4, Integrating Google Cloud Platform Services. It contains three subtopics which are First, integrating an application with data and storage services. Second, integrating an application with compute services. Third, integrating Google Cloud APIs with applications. Domain 5, Managing Application Performance Monitoring. It contains four subtopics which are First, integrating Google Cloud APIs with applications. Second, managing VMs. Third, viewing application performance metrics using Stackdriver. Fourth, diagnosing and resolving application performance issues. Schedule the exam. If you are determined enough to go for this exam and become a certified Google Data Engineer, then it's time to register for the exam and go ahead for the preparation. Following are the steps to apply for the exam. First, you will need a WebAssessor account. You are supposed to create a one in order to register yourself for the exam. To create, click here. Second, create the account with your personal email address, and not your work address. Third, check the catalog, and register for the exam you want to apply for. Fourth, choose the exam center, that is, Criterion Testing Center. Fifth, when you register for an exam, you will need to schedule an exam time at a Criterion Testing Center that is convenient for you. Now we will talk about retake the exam. For instance, if you don't pass the certification exam, you can take it again after 14 days. Similarly, if you don't pass the second time, you must wait 60 days. Further, if you don't pass the third attempt, you'll have to wait a year before trying again. Above all, payment is required each time you take an exam. Note, trying to sidestep the retake policy by registering under a different name is a violation of the exam terms and conditions and will result in a denied or revoked certification. Exam day. After crossing all the hurdles, comes your exam day. All your hard work is going to take shape. 
In other words, you are going to get your output in your hand. In order to receive one, you should remember the following points. First, you should arrive before the arrival time at the exam center with valid identity proof, a voter ID card which differs depending upon the location and country. Second, you can just contact the customer care of the testing center to take information about the perquisites of the exam, or check the official certification page. Third, you will be given a locker where you can keep your belongings at the test center. Let us now discuss about preparatory guide. First, review all exam objectives. Before venturing on any journey, one must have a clear idea of what he or she is putting themselves into. With that being said, reviewing each and every exam objective becomes the most important part of your preparation. So, make sure you visit the official website of Google Cloud to have a clear view. Since it is the most authentic site to provide any information regarding the GCP Cloud Developer exam. After you've gone through the basic exam details, it's time to hit the exam guide. Second, download the exam guide. Exam guide comprises of all the domains and topics of the examination. So, make sure to download the exam guide. In this exam guide, you'll be able to understand each and every topic in detail. This will help you prepare each domain with every minute detail in accordance with the exam. Third, don't underestimate the power of GCP training. Some may find training not as important as books, but let us remind you that GCP training is the best training offered to candidates. With the help of training, you able to conduct online on-demand classes without any hassle. Fourth, practical experience with hands-on labs. After this, the most crucial step is the hands-on experience. The scenario-based questions examined in the GCP Cloud Developer exam requires prior hands-on experience. A candidate can register for the GCP free tier under the free trial of GCP products, services, and technologies. You can even utilize the 300 US dollars free credit for gaining hands-on expertise. For better understanding, one can even register for paid hands-on experience. Fifth, Self-evaluation makes you better. And, finally, it's time for self-evaluation. Take it from us, self-evaluation is the last step of your success. The more you're going to practice, it's better for you. Not only does it assist you in understanding the areas where you lack but also ensures you're improving your skills as well. So, keep on practicing as many practice tests as much as you can. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.